Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. Today, once again, I'm on my local trails, continue to be in lockdown, partial lockdown now. Thankfully, so we're out and able to get some exercise. And today I've come back to, <laughs> I, I descent that's kind of special to me. It was the very first descent that I got sort of obsessed with, that I got hooked up on. I guess I've always been competitive, although I didn't really know it, I don't think, before I started riding bikes. Mainly competitive with myself, obviously if I race every now and again, obviously with those who are around me as well. When I first started riding bikes, I found this descent called La, La Bajada de los Huevos, and which basically means <laughs> that damn downhill, or insert expletive here. And it's very short, you know, obviously the place we're at is not uh, particularly gnarly, but what it was, was it was my first downhill run, it was close to home, it was fun as hell, and for me back then it was challenging. And the strange thing is I've been back here loads of times, obviously over the years, and I've never ever been able to beat my, my personal record back then of, I think it was one minute 36 or something. I did that oh, one year after I started riding my bike, five years later, and I still haven't been able to beat that. I remember coming up here and I would do that run over and over again on my normal bike, go down, push the bike back up, go down. And I, it was my first obsession. It was my first uh, KOM obsession. Of course, just, just with myself, really. I didn't know anybody then. I didn't know anybody who rode bikes around here. And I thought I'd take a visit back to uh, that descent, show you that, because it is fun. I mean, it's <laughs> nothing to get too excited about, but it is fun. Unfortunately, it's very short. So let, I want to see, you know, what I can what I can do today. Am I gonna Am I gonna beat my personal record? Am I gonna make the com? I doubt it very much. There's a little sheep farm just here on the left that is looked after by a family of Mastinas, and they've just had a load of. Uh, well, a few months ago they had a load of puppies. And so they've decided to let the puppies stay outside on the fire road so they can learn how to be badass, which they're doing very well because I came down here with the dogs and they were not happy about letting us go past the little sods. And then they get the parents inside. The big ass. Oh, God. The big ass versions. So there's about six or seven mastinas, all in the space of a couple of meters, which can be quite intimidating. And if you don't know what a mastine is, go and have a look on Google. They are the uh, wolf killers, quite literally. Beautiful, noble dogs, but you wouldn't want to get on the mouth side of one of those. So the thing about the uh, the hills of Aldemorillo is they're very short but they've actually got some quite poppy little descents like that <laughs> very loose Ooh. so we're coming down now into the descent and I actually think that the timing starts now before you even get to the uh, descent so to speak which I think was always an issue. Man, it is dry and loose. It starts off nice and flow and then gets a bit chunky. But this. Oh, already messed up. Way slow, way slow. Whoa. Voila. And that was our attempt messed up completely. Man, that's frustrating. Oh well, back up the up. So they're probably about I don't know, maybe three sort of semi, I say decent, again in certain air quotes, descents on the uh, Maldemorillo Hills. That first one being one of them. I got rudely interrupted. Uh, and then a couple of others which aren't anywhere near as fun. But, uh, you know, fun enough when, when times are hard, you gotta ride where you can. And this climb 
is absolutely brutal. When I first got my giant trance back in 2015 after upgrading from the uh, department store bike, it came with a 2x10 and of course I wanted to be cool so I immediately put a 1x on it and came up here and you can probably hear how I am even on the e-bike but I got to about here I had to stop I very thought I was going to hurl like literally thought I was going to hurl it was a nasty nasty climb Let's see if it's clear this time After coming a long way up line and this is a really slow line ah way too slow it's such a fast little descent it really is Oh, I've got to slow right down here. Well, that's not going to be anywhere near, I can tell you that now. So around here, there are, it's big uh, cross-country territory, as you can obviously tell from where, from what you see in the videos. But uh, there are a lot of cross-country clubs and therefore a lot of cross-country rides organised throughout the, uh, the year, sorry, races organised throughout the year. Uh, some of them are competitive, some of them are non. But there are so many clubs around here organising stuff all the time. I guess, I mean, I started out doing cross-country as well. Uh, for me, it was because I didn't know there was any other kind of mountain bike. You know, if you're starting out in mountain biking, I think it's definitely the most accessible form of, uh, of riding. It's also the cheapest way of getting into riding. You know, you get yourself a hardtail, cheap hardtail, and you can get something really nice for a lot less money. I remember just a bit further over in the next municipality, uh, I did my first and only ever cross-country race. I had a a Trek Superfly uh, 9 is it? Hardtail? Back then I don't have it anymore, I really wish I'd kept it actually and uh, I decided to do one of the local XC races I needed the short version it was like 32 kilometers, and I'd already done a few Enduro races by then but I remember distinctly remember thinking after I finished the race, that was the hardest thing I'd ever done. You are just going, oh, if you're like me and competitive, <laughs> you are just going flat out from the, the second the whistle goes to cross the finish line with no let up. And I mean, I, I probably obviously did a really bad job as well of uh, pacing myself and all that. No idea about that. I still have trouble with that. But I just remember thinking I was going to die afterwards. The hardest thing I've done. Now I don't know what this one is called. If I don't even know if it's got a name because it's just a uh, well, it's just a fire road. Uh, see if I can uh, rock them. Oh, <laughs> right up the wall. Oh, terrible getting thrown from one side to the other so loose though and the pebbles are bloody huge you get a tire spin going on that or like it, and you are off done and dusted Ooh, 
nearly flat out, flat out, but not quite flat out. <laughs> so loose and sketchy. I got a brand new, brand new tire in the front. So plenty of grip, but still, this is a, the typical riding on marbles deal. Oh, way too much brake. Oh. And done. See, I mean, they're, they're fun enough, you know, good enough to make in a decent of a bad situation, but so damn short. Bloody hell, look at that cave. I don't even know if I can put the bike down, it's so steep. I'm actually even wondering what will be in there. Quite a few flies around there, so probably not anything I particularly want to see. I don't know if uh, that'll be home to some wild boars or, or what. Let's see what's up here. Because it definitely looked like there was a trail. But I guess it was just the uh, coming down from the cave. Nothing there. Possibly something up there, but I'm not walking up that to check it out. Another great thing about the e-bike, just go and investigating stuff that you find that you wouldn't ordinarily do on a normal bike. Or stuff I wouldn't ordinarily go and do anyway, because I'm too lazy. Another old challenge from back in the day was coming up here <laughs> the other way around. Coming up here the other way around? Coming up here. Much more fun going the other way. Oh shit, well that's eroded. <laughs> Damn. I found this the other day. But it's actually very difficult to see in a lot of places where it goes. So, still don't know it yet, really. And again, see, look, lost it now. Lost it, lost it, lost it. Where is it? Here. So again, one of the joys of the e-bike, because, lost it again, because I saw this from down the bottom and I rode it backwards, backwards. I rode it in the other direction so I could see where it came out. And again, I wouldn't have done that on a normal bike. Mind you, to be honest, it's not worth much, really. Still. Better than nothing. Always get freaked out that they're gonna find a big ass rock in the middle of these because you can't see anything on the floor. go. I'm actually quite puffed out. I guess it fucking fast. <laughs> oh shit. Ah. This straight line I'm taking here at the end 
that never used to be there when I used to uh, when I was obsessed with that little downhill run that cheat line has been put in since I'll take it and I think <laughs> I just realised that the descent doesn't even finish till I get here anyway so I don't think there's going to be any PRs and certainly no comms La Bajara's woes will continue to elude me and I don't know if that looked fast but it certainly felt fast right so I've just got back and the times are in and my fastest time was 1.43 my PR, my personal record back in 2016 was 1.37 that was after a year of riding my bike so I don't know how I got down there that quick. I know trails change over time, but I don't know how. <laughs> I was eight seconds quicker after one year of riding my bike, but it was my first KOM obsession, so I probably did go up and down that a lot. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, guy. Uh, guys. I didn't uh, obviously beat my previous personal record, but you know, these, uh, these rides are more trip downs of uh, nostalgia lane at the moment as I limited to where I ride but if you've got any ideas for videos you'd like to see over the coming weeks as I say I am limited to where I can ride any ideas for videos maybe I can even do from home let me know in the comments below and let me know how you're getting on with your local rides are you able to go out further are you able to discover new trails or are you like me limited to where you can ride I hope you're safe guys and I'll see you in the next video hasta la próxima